Hi everybody, I hope that you're doing well. I miss you guys like crazy and I'm glad to be back and making videos and doing blog posts. Um, it's really fulfilling to me and I really hope that they're helping you out as well. So today I'm going to talk to you about the hips and uh, different types of hip pain and something that I had done to help me with one of the types of hip pain that I have. So um, we're going to go with our art man to kind of get things started off. Um, so on this is the front of the guy that we're looking at. You have three different sections of your hips that can hurt you. Um, you can have pain in the front, which is actually hip pain. It's the joint itself that's hurting you. You can have pain in the back, and that is the SI joint. That's your sacroiliac joint. And you can have pain on the side. And if you are having pain on the side, it's not your actual hip that's hurting probably, it's probably your bursa that's hurting. Um, you probably have bursitis. And the hip bone itself is known as the greater trochanter and so if you are having bursitis pain in this area, then it's called trochanteric bursitis. And if you have a surgery to fix it, it's known as a trochanteric bursectomy. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today, is a trochanteric bursectomy. So for those of you that are having pain in your hips, that's in the front, that is probably your hip joint itself. Again, in the back is your SI joint, so treatments for those are both different. But if you're having pain on the side, like when you go to take a step or you go to put your cars, uh, your legs in and out of the car or just moving around and you feel that pain and it's on the side of your hip, probably not the joint itself. It's probably not your hip joint going out. It's probably your bursa. So um, to get started, what is a bursa? A bursa is basically a little pillow. Um, it's a little like roundish sack that is in all of your joints and it kind of keeps them cushioned and keeps things moving smoothly. Um, basically it's like a little bit of padding. Well what happens over time um, and with some people, especially people with EDS, is as your joints wear down, things start to shift and put pressure on your bursa, and then your bursa becomes inflamed. And that is the pain that you're actually feeling, is your inflamed bursa. Um, so it's that pillow-like pocket. Um, so what can you do to fix it? Well, there's actually a pretty easy fix, and I had it done. It's an arthroscopic surgery. It's called a trochanteric bursectomy, and it was a quick outpatient surgery. I was in the OR for, it was like 30 minutes, um, and they did both sides at the same time. The recovery was really quick. I was up and moving around within a couple of days. Within a few weeks, I was starting to feel pretty good, and it's been quite a while. I no longer have any pain on the side from the bursitis at all. Um, if I take a step up and down stairs, my knees bother me, and sometimes my hip joint itself will bother me. But I don't have that piercing, pinching pain that I did that shot all the way down the side of my leg. I no longer deal with that at all. It is the most wonderful thing ever. So, um, I wanna kinda explain to you how exactly this works. So, you've got your hip joint and inside of there is a bursa 
and over the edge you've got an IT band and the IT band kind of holds stuff together. I'm going to illustrate very in layman's terms and very uh, briefly just how a bursectomy is done with this fennel and a rubber band that I have colored black. So you have this IT band. This smells really good. I don't know if you guys like licorice. Uh, fennel smells like, like licorice or anise. Um, or fennel. It smells like fennel. But that smells a little bit like black licorice. and Mmm, it's so yummy. Anyway, so... Um, so what the doctor did is he went in arthroscopically. Um, he did two little incisions... And that's it. They're maybe a half an inch long each on each side of, um, on the top and on the bottom. And then there's just um, three little dots in the center where he used to try, try and pull apart the incisions a little bit so that he could get in there. Um, and obviously one of those incisions he stuck a scope in and one he stuck in his tools. And he was able to do everything uh, that way. So the first thing that he did is he went in and he removed the IT band and what that does is it's going to stop the IT band from rubbing the bursa anymore and causing this problem again in the future so it's like a long-term um, fix so that this isn't a recurring problem and then he went in and he saw all of this and I'll just show you this jagged, damaged, inflamed, like rotting tissue basically, this inflamed tissue um, that was my bursa. And so he wanted to remove it. So he removed the first layer. And when he got down to the next layer, it was also damaged. So he removed that layer. And just like you would peel an onion back, he kept doing this until he got down to where he had removed all of the damaged tissue and he had a nice smooth bursa left. And then basically stitched me up and that was the end of it. So got rid of all of the inflamed damaged bursa tissue, cut the IT band so it will no longer rub on the bursa and I'm left with a nice healthy plush somewhat smaller bursa in my hips and there is no longer an IT band over it so it's not going to rub on there and create any more friction and cause any more problems or any more pain. Um, there will be a little layer of scar tissue that will grow over this and smooth it all out. That actually is a good thing. It just keeps everything nice and um, put together and that's it. That's the end of my pain on the side of my hips. So I had this simple surgery done and I also will uh, post a video below this one on the blog page um, on my blog post that shows you the actual surgery because there's a doctor that posted the surgery itself online which is pretty cool to watch if you're gonna have it done. So anyway, um, all I had to do was find a hip doctor that did trochanteric bursectomies. You can actually call around and ask different hip doctors if they do them and they will let you know and if they do it's a very quick procedure. Um, I did not have to go off of my painkillers beforehand. I found a doctor that was willing to just let me continue my same pain regimen and got it done and it didn't really hurt that bad. It, it wasn't a bad recovery and I no longer have any bursitis pain um, down in my hips. I do have bursitis pain in other joints. Um, I have 
bursitis um, problems with my elbows, but um, no longer have anything in my hips, and it's great. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps explain it a little bit um, easy in an easy to understand way. And then I will post the video of the actual surgery itself. And I'm going to try and dig up some pictures from my doctor, but he's been stingy with them. So I'm trying to get some pictures so I can show you guys my actual bursa and what it looked like before and after. Um, if I am able to come up with those, I will post them as well. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. If you have bursitis pain in your hips and it's bothersome, look into getting a bursectomy. Most amazing thing I've done for myself this year. And um, that's all. Have a great rest of your summer and I will talk with you guys again soon. Bye.